we're just uh, we're just amazed because um, we weren't sure. We I don't know if he had a, you know if another month he would have become gravely ill or if mm-hmm. it had been longer or shorter. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a, um, a physician to be able to to to, to say that, but. But uh, he clearly was on his way to becoming very, very sick. We call it septic. Um, mm-hmm. Septic is in- infection in the blood. So if you go from, you know, a badly infected uh, femur, which is, uh, you know, the bl- the bone marrow in the in the bone is actually what cr- makes the blood. Um, so his in- the infection to get in his bloodstream was was uh, was just around the corner, and and sepsis uh, is is deadly. But he has been a delight, and it's been also I think everyone has uh, felt. A part of a miracle, truly, um, that uh, this young man in Honduras that comes from humble resources um, had a had a you know a broken leg. I mean, can you imagine dying from a broken leg because of the care he uh, wasn't able to get care quick enough? Um, um, and that's the route he was on. Had there not been a um, a physician missionary and his wife visit Honduras and and uh, say we can do something about this. He's he just a wonderful person, is all I can say. And he's been really patient with me when I try to speak Spanish with him. Because <laughs> uh, my Spanish is not as good as it used to be, or as well as it used to be. And so, and uh, I'm just amazed at how fast he is learning English. Mm-hmm. And he's just, he's just a joy. As I think one of the girls said it best when she said she would just like to bundle him up and take him home with her. <laughs> we got a cup of snow and tuck in to let him see. And uh, then I let it snowball and I threw it at him. And he gave me a little grin and threw it back. <laughs> he just kept saying, oh, snow beautiful, snow beautiful. And so he really, he really enjoyed that. accidente automobilístico el primero de mayo del año pasado y me tuvieron este, asistencia en el hospital en hola en el, en el hospital en Honduras mm-hmm. un hospital público ellos hacen eso en hospital público ahí sí ellos Sí, en el hospital público este, me trataron de emergencia porque yo ya iba casi muerto. Sí, um, había botado mucha sangre y estuve a punto de morir. He was at the point of death. Pero los doctores cortaron mi pierna a tiempo. Antes de que agarrara una, una se llama gangrina. Before it hit like gangrene. <laughs> yes. Y la amputación de la pierna fue abajo de la rodilla. It was under the knee when they amputated it. Estuve internado. Dos meses. He was there two months. Mm-hmm. Sí. Y en Honduras no, no se podía curar. They couldn't cure it in Honduras. They wasn't able. Porque tenía mucha infección. Because he had a lot of infection. Y mucho dolor. And it hurt him a lot. Y ellos decidieron traerme aquí. Mm-hmm. Sí. They said to bring him here. Para que tuviera un mejor tratamiento. So he could be better recovered from that. Y pudiera sanar de, de mi pierna. Y que pueda usar una prótesis. So he could use a prosthetic. Yes. Y fue así como lo conocí a ellos y, y me ha traído a este lugar mm-hmm. por bendición de Dios. Thanks to God that he was able to come here so they could help him. Y aquí me han tratado excelente. They've treated him excellent. Son unos buenos doctores. Good doctors. 
buenas enfermeras y siempre están cerca de mí. They're always with him. 